Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, Stacking Perpetrator here. Uh, this is one of my sewer line dig ups. First one, it took us about 30 minutes to dig up the line. If you can see that clean out right there, I was jetting this way and my jetter hose got stuck. It took us about 20 minutes to get that situated out with a tractor. But I originally had hand dug down and that end where that little round hole is right there was next to that white pipe. That's where I first boiled into the hole looking for my stuck jetter hose. I then bored this hole, couldn't find my jetter hose. So I went here to this one, couldn't find my hose. I backed up a little bit. Uh, there's a patch that's still on this one. Uh, no jetter hose. On the other side of this farm code though, this hole right here was where I could get access to my jetter hose and get the nozzle free. The reason being is because there's roots in the pipe and I'd already got the roots out through the holes in this patch. But the problem was that the last contractor didn't secure that down. I mean, we didn't mess with these after I just cut here and cut down on the other end and I'm literally able to pull the pipe out. If you don't get these secure, you're gonna let roots get in. But anyway, this is hole number one. I'll do another video on the other hole. Uh, got the new piece of pipe put in. My connections are secure. I've tamped it all in so when we fill the rest in, the pipe doesn't ball. Uh, we did have markings. That was the only marking. Everything else was clear. But if you notice in the hole, I'll put a, uh, let me get a marker on it. Right here is a wire that did not get located. Runs all the way along the pipe here. We didn't hit it. Uh, you see this here, this was a abandoned sprinkler line. There's no other pipe out here, so that was abandoned. Anyway, we're gonna bury this and go do the next one. I'll do a separate video on the next one. Uh, keep on stacking the silver and gold. Just don't overpay on the premiums. See you later.